Welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. This is what happens when I forget to unmute my microphone. Enjoy these highlights, YouTube. And thank you for watching.
Where the hell do you think you're going? Prim is off limits. Some convicts from the prison up the road have taken over the town. Everyone inside is either dead or in hiding. What's more, there are two tribes of raiders causing trouble in this area as well. You'd be safer heading back up to Good Springs. Be careful. You may want to talk to Lieutenant Hayes. He's in a tent down the road. Just stay on the west side of the overpass if you don't want to get shot. I'm Sergeant McGee of the New California Republic Army, 5th Battalion, 1st Company. If you want to talk about something, speak to Lieutenant Hayes. I'm from Hub originally, but it's been a long time since I saw it. I'm on my second tour here. Most non-commissioned officers are. Sir. Evening. I'm Lieutenant Hayes of the New California Republic Army, 5th Battalion, 1st Company. What's your business? We were sent out here to hold back the tide of convicts from the correctional facility. As you can probably tell, we aren't doing the kind of job we could be doing. The mission isn't a problem, the problem is with supplies. Convicts are better armed and organized than our intel initially suggested. I'm trying to get some reinforcements here, maybe some guns with some firepower, but shit. Things are just going slow. Most people just call it NCRCF. That's NCR Correctional Facility. A little bit ago, the convicts there staged a coup. Killed the guards that weren't able to escape. And have been ransacking the area since then. Not much. They've taken to calling themselves powder gangers, mostly because they've taken to using the explosives meant to clear boulders as weapons. They got organized faster than I would have thought, most of them at least. Thankfully, the small group in town here seemed to have split off from the main force, so they aren't getting anything in the way of support. I have some free time. Ask away. Sir? When I got this assignment, I was hoping there'd be more camp.
I don't know what it was brought you to Prim, youngster, but you might want to rethink your plans. Town's gone to hell. Johnson Nash is my name. Husband to Ruby Nash. Lived in Prim going on eight years now, thick and thin. I'm a trader primarily, for what it's worth with things like they are. I also run the local Mojave Express outpost. Well, I don't got any work right now, sorry to say. I'll tell you whatever I can. You have a delivery order you can show me? Oh, so you're talking about one of them packages. That job had Strange written all over, but we couldn't turn down the caps. That cowboy robot had us hire six couriers. Each was carrying something a little different. Pair of dice, chess piece, that kind of stuff. Last word I have in the office, it looked like payment had been received for the other five jobs. Guess it was just your chip that didn't make it. First deadbeat we hired to do the job, canceled. Hope a storm from the divide skins him alive. Well, that's where you came in. Yeah, got this look when he saw you next down on the courier list. His expression turned right around, asked me if your name was for real. I said, sure as lack of rain, you were still kicking. Then he turned down the job, just like that. I asked if he was sure it was good money. No, let Courier 6 carry the package, that's what he said. Like the Mojave'd sort you out or something. Then he just up and walked out. No idea. Sounds like you two had a history for him to act like that. And turn down the money, too. Hope he didn't see any trouble in that package of yours. Maybe he thought your name was bad luck. Enough for me to say. Now that you mentioned it, a few nights back, one of the townies was out scavenging for supplies. He said he saw a fellow with a daisy suit come through with some of them great con misfits. They was talking about a chip. Well, for that, your best bet is going to be talking to Deputy Beagle. Since they came to town, he was keeping a good bit of notes on them, and he was slinking around Bison Steve when your pretty boy friend came through. He may have heard where they were going. I guess I don't have anywhere better to be. Sure, I'll tell you what I know. I guess I don't have anywhere better to be. A Beagle had some notes he was taking while he was eavesdropping around the Potter gangsters. He'll be your best source of information on that subject.
Right now, Beagle is the closest Prim's got to any organized law, but he's still stuck up in Bison Steve. First thing I'd say is get his sorry butt out of there. Gangers, gangsters, all sounds like trouble to me. Well, I'll answer what I can. Sure do. I run the courier office out of my shop. Leastways, I did before things went to hell around here. Ask away. Let's see. Been tough around here for a good while now. Worse since them thugs kidnapped our deputy. He started with the breakout from the prison up the road. First, there was just a few thugs rolling through town. But then they got organized. Now they call themselves powder gangsters or something and run around throwing dynamite and shooting people. A little while ago, a good chunk of them left whatever kind of organization they got up there to squeeze all the food and drink out of us they could. Ask away. It's an old hotel and casino here in town. Old Laura used to rent out rooms there, but she took off months ago. Across the way from the Vicky and Vance, the other old casino. Can't miss it. Ask away. That's where we are. This here little casino brought some cash and bodies into the town before them powder gangsters came in. Now they can't rush us without eating a good bit of hot lead, but we are in a kind of box canyon. Guess this is a fitting place for that as any. I reckon that if they thought hard enough about it, they'd realize they got more bodies than we have bullets. But for now, we're safe enough in here. Don't go getting yourself shot. Howdy. You come to the wrong place, Traveler. Prim's dying. If you've got any sense, you'll be moving on. Hello there. What brings you to Prim? I'm Ruby Nash, pleased to make your acquaintance. My husband and I are prim long-timers. He fancies himself a traitor, and I know my way around the kitchen. My specialty is a rad scorpion venom casserole. It's more appetizing than it sounds. The venom has a sharp, smoky flavor, and it numbs your mouth so fierce you'll forget you ever had a tongue. It's perfectly safe, long as you don't have sores in your mouth for the venom to find your blood. Cause that'll kill you dead. Does sound good, don't it? How many red scorpion glands you got? Guess you'll be needing to find some, huh? Come back when you do. My mother taught me never to say something unless it was nice. So, I don't have nothing to say about Prim, for the time being at least. It's a sad state of affairs. Discuss it with Mr. Nash if you care to. Just makes me want to cry. Bye. Hey there. Quite a town we got here. Sheriff gets murdered, and Deputy Beagle dragged off for ransom to the Bison Steve. That should bring back the tourists.
party partner. Welcome to the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. Prem Slim at your service. Authentic cowpoke and official spokespot of the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. Yeehaw! Where have you been, partner? Hiding under a rock? Vicky and Vance were this nation's fourth or maybe fifth most infamous celebrity outlaw couple ever. That's who they was. Prem Slim here can tell you the whole story, if you can spare a minute to hear the tale. Have it your way, partner. Maybe work up your curiosity by having a look at thrilling exhibits, like the genuine death car and Vance's machine gun. Happy trails, partner.
I don't suppose you came here to rescue me. I'd cross my fingers, but my hands are numb. Why, yes, I am. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm in a bit of a predicament here. I'd be most appreciative if you'd set me free. Indeed I do, good sir. And I would be thrilled to share that information with you as soon as I am released from captivity. No need to rush on my account. I lost feeling in my hands and legs hours ago. Like that? Thank <laughs> you. 
Well, that was quite an adventure. We taught those convicts a thing or two, didn't we? Breaking myself out of a hostage situation. Not to diminish your role in it, of course, but it was quite thrilling. Problem is, there's still no law in Prem. What are we to do the next time ruffians menace us and hold us hostage? Ah, yes. My memory is much clearer now that I'm free from my bondage. I was uh, performing recon, gathering information on some of the powder gangers, when some great cons arrived with your friend in the suit. They were talking about some delivery they took from a courier. I assume that was you? They said they'd be heading through Nipton to Novak to meet a contact there. Hello again. I don't suppose you've decided to help Prim find its next sheriff? It should be someone brave like you, but more of a homebody. Someone who'll settle down and watch over us. I heard the powder gangers talking about someone in the prison named Myers who has some experience as a sheriff. He may be a good choice. Also, with the NCR so close by, you may be able to get them to take over the town. Not sure why they haven't helped out already. <laughs> well, a deputy isn't much good without a sheriff. So I figured I'd come in here and protect these good people until someone finds us a new one. Maybe next time you can bring a new sheriff back with you. <laughs> 